Hello and welcome. My name is Russell Jones and I am going to show you how I set up my development machine to do day-to-day -day dev work. Um, this is a brand new install. Just finished installing it and I updated it with the GUI. Um, and we're going to skip on right to the terminal. For those who are not familiar, this is Bash, which stands for Born Again Shell. Um, I believe, and I don't know my history all that well, but from what I understand, SH was the original, or at least the original uh, easier to use model. And I'm not sure what it stands for other than maybe Shell. Um, I know there's ash and who knows what else probably zash and cash but the default is bash we are going to be using zsh which is i guess a more modern take on bash um, to do a simple directory listening on the command line you use ls we are in my home directory which you can see with this command pwd and it shows we are in home or slash home slash Russell slash is the root directory do an LS here and you see all your root um, directories and files uh, where there's home right there do an LS in there you see Russell let's get back in there all right so uh, I actually do not remember how import shell I use Google a lot I don't even try to remember much any these days ah, forget that there's rabbit holes to be to be skipped and maneuvered around um, let's get back on track ZSH oh it's a uh, bit of a spoiler we're gonna get into oh my zsh in a minute but back to the lecture at hand I did forget that I was gonna show you auto completion um, you can use the tab key to get a directory listing I press tab once press it again and it shows me the uh, current directory and let's say I wanted to see what's in downloads I just type DO and then I hit tab and it auto completed the rest. There's a Firefox temp file in there. Don't know what that is, don't care. If you wanted to get rid of it, RM, uh, short for remove. By the way, any of these commands, man is your friend. Man RM, remove files or directories. I will have all these in the notes, everything I talk about except for the rabbit holes. Um, okay, now you've seen a bit of bash. If you add a switch dash L after LS, you get a row by row directory listing. A um, little nicer. If you use AL, it shows you all files, including hidden files or files that start with a period. Mm. And well, that's about all I'll get into with Bash for now. So we are gonna use apt to install ZSH. And there she goes. While that's installing, we're gonna talk about oh my ZSH. Oh my ZH, oh my ZSH is a collection of uh, shell scripts and just it makes your terminal prettier uh, more friendly with your ZSH, ZSH terminal. There is an alternative if you are keen on using bash um, for my bash I'm not sure but I think this was created after oh my ZSH because oh my ZSH was so great I could be wrong on that don't quote me but we're not going to use oh my bass, we're going to use oh my zsh install. I always go back to the the original websites. The documentation gets updated so often. Why bother trying to keep track of all these in 
gists and text files and what have you. So we're just going to go ahead and paste that in. And before I do, we'll explain what's going on. So it is actually executing this quoted command through a shell, the very basic sh shell that we spoke about briefly. Um, let's go ahead and run. Paste. Curl not found. sudo app install curl. If you don't know what app is, uh, we'll talk about that another time. But that's how you manage packages on your Ubuntu system or Debian, any Debian based system. So now we have curl. If you press the up arrow, down arrow, you can scroll through your command history. Uh, let's go ahead and run it again. Git is not installed. Uh, you can tell I'm doing this very raw. I did not prepare very much other than uh, starting to record a couple times and then stopping. But those are the blooper reels. I, I like to clear my uh, terminal a lot. So there it is again. I've installed curl. I've installed git. We're going to try running this command one more time. This time I pressed control shift V. Very handy shortcut for pasting into terminals. Control shift, shift C to copy. So it is asking us time to change our default shell to zsh we're going to say yes type in my password and there we go uh, it looks a little different as you can see the bash shell was uh well it was a bit different this is very basic and one of the first things i do is change my oh my zsh theme and for that we are going to run vim, which I hope is installed, uh, dot zshrc, and that file is in your home directory. Vim is not installed, of course. We'll go with NeoVim. Oh. I'm leaving all these mistakes in, um, as long as they don't take up too much time. I'm still hoping this comes in in under 10 minutes. We're closing in on eight. Now we have Vim. It's up arrow a couple times to edit this file. And as you can see, one of the first variables is a ZSH theme with Robbie Russell being the default. Uh, there's tons of themes. I encourage you to have a look at that link right above my cursor. And try different ones, see what works for you, but I really like Ignoster. Uh, to, after you make a change to your RC file, you run OMZ reload. This is all specific to um, ZSH, oh my ZSH, hence OMZ. Um, so there we have, this is the Ignoster theme. But as you can see, it is a bit ugly here with some characters that are missing. We need to install a font, and I already know this because I've done it a million times. It's called Font Powerline. Yes, I auto completed the last bit there. Now that is installed. I don't know if I have to log out, but I definitely have to close the terminal. Yeah, I see. I mean, I can, it, it's, it's loading bash because we logged into the system as bash. Let's go ahead and log out. I'm running in hyper B. All right. If I open the terminal, you see a beautiful power lined OMZSH. I don't know what's that. I can't remember what it's called. Your cursor, your uh, your thing. Let's check it out. We have some coloring. Um, 
O M Z I mean oh my Z Z S H has a ton of awesome uh, plugins as well. In your home directory, if you go to cd dot oh my Z S H, just like that. I'm gonna create again so we get a nice nice view. Uh, themes, plugins. Let's see what we got for plugins. Before we do that, pay attention to the um, to this right here. It's picked up that we are in a git repository because the directory dot git is in here and it knows we are in the master branch. Um, this is very nice. I use, use this I rely on this all the time. Um, if you were to say create a new branch, foobar, it would tell you you're in that branch. It's very good not to get confused. Without this, uh, you make a mess, get sloppy. I'll go ahead and check out master again. Anyhow, let's check out some of those plugins. There's a lot. I actually don't know what. It, oh, they're all pretty self-explanatory, actually, but I haven't used nearly all of them. Um, I don't do direct symphony, symphony development, um, but these plugins give you auto completion for all kinds of functionality. Git is great, especially if I check my um, zshrc file. I'm gonna first. I'm gonna type cd and hit enter, which brings you back to your home directory. Let's clear that again. Um, we're going to vim the zshrc file again. There is a plugins variable. Git is automatically loaded, so let's see what it does. Let's get back into, uh, let's just make a new, make foobar, cd foobar, git init. Here we are. Now, let's see what it does for us, git. I double tabbed and this is all the options that we have for the git command without the oh my zsh plugin um, this would not happen if you prefer bash go ahead stick with bash check out their oh my bash but if you're like me and you love zsh you or you end up loving zsh then uh, I, I encourage you to explore it and go ahead and reach out to me for any further questions but I'm going to wrap it up and we'll move on to another topic in the next video. Uh, I can't remember what I have lined up, but I guess we'll see. Thanks for watching and I look forward to hearing from you.